we go. Papa's five siblings. Okay. Okay. The oldest, Josefina, she became a nun uh, in a retreat center. Mm -hmm. Okay. Then there's my father. Mm -hmm. Married, had 12 kids, and never went crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> then this is uh, Jorge, Papa's brother. He was very handsome when he was 22, 23. He loved his motorcycle, clowning with uh, people in the street. Uh, he um, fell, and, and the motorcycle ran over him, died instantly. Okay. This is... At what age? Uh, 22, 23, something Okay. Like. He, he already had two girls, okay? Little two- and three-year-old girls, okay? Okay. And who are they? Do you Marta. Know? I don't have pictures of them. Marta and, and Blanca. Okay. They used to come stay with us in the summers. I don't think you remember that. Okay. Then this is uh, Fernando. Uh, he had uh, five or six children can't remember that. He was the one that him and my grandfather were in partners in a garage, uh, like um, auto parts and stuff like that. Their house was their house was connected to the workplace. And when I used to spend every summer, I used to spend two weeks over there. And they Fernando. And, and Papa Nani would spoil me so rotten. Things Papa wouldn't let me do in his desk at work. <laughs> they would let me sit there and draw and do all that. Nandito would carry me piggyback from the house all the way, pobrecito, and I was kind of chubby, uh, este, all the way to the garage, okay? He did that every day, every day. He... Nandito spoiled me to no end, and Papa <laughs> Nani also. When Papa Nani died in 1952, in, in February, he died February 14, 1952. He was a cigar smoker. And for years later, I would still smell cigar. <laughs> I loved him so much. And then, here's the four surviving Siblings, okay, because Tio Jorge died in that accident, okay? Uh -huh. That's Papa, Tia Carmelita, a nun also. In where? Um, in Monterrey, she was also the, the school psychologist. Uh -huh. She was a terrific piano player. She directed the, the choir for uh -huh. many years. Uh -huh. Wherever she went as a nun, she would be the choir director, okay? And she died in uh, 2010. From what? Just old age. She was 94 years old. Tia Josefina, the oldest of the siblings, she was born in 1909. No. Wait. 1905, she was born before my father. My father was born in 1909. And she, also um, a nun, and, and she was a joker, just like Carlos used to joke. Mm -hmm. For all these things, she would drive you crazy with her jokes. Everything <laughs> you said, she turned it into a joke. Everything. I don't care. I don't care what it was. So... I mean, she didn't seem that funny at her house. I guess you never was... saw her. You oh, never, never saw, saw Tia her? Josefina, no. Tia Carmelita is the one that used to come here a lot. Oh, come visit here? Si. Tia Josefina uh, was um, in a nursing home in, in the convent for many years before she just, it was just like old age and she couldn't, you know, move again or whatever. Then this is Nandito. He's the one that uh, spoiled me rotten. And to the day he died, they had a, a auto parts place. Then him and his two sons uh, would help him out. And the older son um, is a very successful junk 
yard man. Eh? Oh, really? Can you believe it? <laughs> jo the junk, he is very rich and successful. Eh? The other son looks exactly like Johnny. Oh, really? Exactly. The dome head, the broad shoulders, uh, you know. Uh, at one time, they both had the, the uh, ¿cómo se llama? Mustache. The mustache. I mean, I wish he would come over because, I mean, I want to see him again. And of course... He lives in Laredo? No, in Monterrey. Oh. Yeah, yeah. See, Nandito's family was always from Monterrey. Papa came to Laredo when he was very young and he stayed here because my tío, the one that had the Texas hat company, uh -huh. uh, trained him to be a businessman. And he took on because Matias' three boys were spoiled brats. They were playboys. They just wanted the money to go and party and what have you. Papa was a, 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 a non, um, not just honest but a serious man because he had children to support. And so he uh, started with Matias. When he graduated from uh, St. Louis, Univer St. Louis uh, High School, which now is St. Mary's University. Uh -huh. Okay, it used to be the high school and the university there. Uh -huh. Now it's just the university, okay? And Papa said, we, we kids always asked him for his diploma. We want to see his diploma because he kept saying he graduated from high school. Well, let me see your, I don't have one. You don't have one? No. I uh, finished my studies and that's it. I don't need a paper. You see? <laughs> <laughs> and, and so we always kidded him about that because he never showed us the diploma. He just said he finished school. <laughs> and so, um, anyway, um. Uh, so Nandito was very, a uh, very passive type of man, mm -hmm. very sweet, very opposite of Papa. We used to visit them in Monterrey. Monterrey, yeah. You were little toddlers, whatever. His wife was the one that uh, she also she also died. Um, that was the the aggressor in the family, you know. He was very soft spoken, <laughs> and you know, whatever. <laughs> Okay, so all of that is your immediate family, so you know you know who they are. <laughs> oh, and wait a minute. There's a picture of father and mother. In Times Square? Is it Times Square? I think that it is. Like Times one Square. Of their, one of their, uh, their travels. Do you know when that was? Oh, Jimmy. It, it should have been the 60s or the 70s, but I see. They did a lot of traveling, constantly. New York, Europe, they went to Europe, they went to China, they went to Taiwan, they went to Japan. I mean, uh, mother didn't like the traveling too much, pero uh -huh. papá, from one night to the other, le decía, mañana vamos a China. I mean, that the type of thing, you know, you know, pobrecita mamá tried to get all her things together. <laughs> 